I'm only talking about my friends now, fuck them. I'm talking about Shaquille O'Neal, cause that's my friend. And even though he my friend, these niggas still retarded. <laughs> niggas stupid than a motherfucker. This motherfucker got enough money to be whatever the fuck he wanna be his whole life. And what the fuck does this nigga wanna be? A goddamn sheriff. You can't be no goddamn sheriff, Shaq. You are 18 foot, six foot, 12, nigga. How the fuck? You can't even go undercover. Just do you have any drugs? No, Shaq. You know that's your motherfucking ass. You a dumb motherfucker if you let Shaq pull you out the car. You just, could you step out the car? Nigga, could you make a free throw? Then I'm not getting out there. I'm just not going to do it. If you want that nigga not to shoot you, you got to dress up like a basket. Just... He can't shoot them. He can't shoot baskets. He can't do it. That's my nigga. I can talk about him. I ain't scared of Shaq. Shaq ain't even a gangster in his family. His wife is a gangster. She's my size. She done had five of this nigga's gargantuan type dinosaur ass babies. She don't even give a fuck no more. Shaq's baby be three and a half years old when they come out. She be steady in the conversation. Anyway, girl, I was going, oh. <laughs> fuck Shaq. That nigga gonna invite me to his son's fourth birthday party. I get there, me and this goddamn baby is looking at each other eye to eye and shit. <laughs> And his circle had a nerve to put his hands up like I'm gonna pick his big ass up. He... Put your goddamn hands down. Ain't nobody picking you up, nigga. We the same size. <laughs> you tell it was Shaq's baby because he was real big, but he couldn't talk good. All he could do, he could just repeat whatever the last thing you said. I was like, hey, you want, you want some candy? Oh, candy. <laughs> Uh, fuck the way you want some chicken? Oh, chicken. I confused the shit out that nigga. I said, you want a candy or a whooping? Oh, a whooping. I'm oh, gonna fuck. Now take care of your kids. They the ones that got your back. It can be a motherfucking hassle though. You gonna put up with some shit raising your babies, but you better appreciate them motherfuckers. They the ones that really fucking care. I know, I got adopted kids. That's a whole different shit when you got adopted. That mean you just reaching in a bag hoping for some good shit. You just, please Jesus, please. Ooh, that's a murderer, nigga. I know a murderer when the fuck I see one. That nigga. You know what I'm talking about. My baby girl, 18 months. She was born with crack in her system. Now when the baby born with crack in their system, their body don't develop right. So she was born at like four pounds or some crazy shit. So when the baby's born that small, then they put them on steroids so the body can catch up. I don't think these motherfuckers did the proper research that maybe crack and steroids ain't a real good combination for a baby girl. Got her walking around my house looking like 50 Cent and Pampers. She's Shit, you can't run up on daddy like that. I almost stabbed you. Now tell a nigga when you want some cereal. This is ridiculous. That's my motherfucking boo-boo. That crack and steroids done made her a gangster. She ain't even like a baby. She's just a gangster. You be trying to feed her and she, she just do gangster shit. And you be trying to look at her, but she be giving you the fucking gangster back. She, you be like, come on, eat some more. She, You trying to play it off like you ain't scared. You just, oh, you ate a lot, you ate a lot. Don't even worry about it. I, I didn't see you, it ate this much, huh? She gonna fucking cry till she get what the fuck she want. The problem is she can't tell you what she want. She don't even cry like a baby. She cry like a gangster. She just in the high chair, just, Got grown niggas running around the house looking for what the fuck she wants. Just... <laughs> Gotta love you motherfucking kids, though.